Welcome to the Discount Property Investor Podcast, where we show you how to buy real estate at a discount so you can create wealth over time and income today. Our mission is to share what we have learned from the experience of others and help you make more money investing like a pro. We want to teach you how to create wealth by investing in real estate, the Discount Property Investor way. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining us, guys. This is episode one of the Discount Property Investor podcast. We are the Discount Property Investors. Discount Property Investor is a local wholesale company based out of St. Louis, Missouri. There is four partners in the company, and we have a combined experience of over 50 years in real estate. We focus primarily on wholesaling real estate. My name is David Dodge, and I will be one of your hosts today. Uh, I want to give you a little bit of background about me, and then we'll kind of circle around the room here. Um, I have been investing in real estate uh, for a little over 10 years. Uh, For the first nine years, I was very passively investing. I was buying properties off of the MLS, and I was holding them as rentals. And just about a year ago, I got into wholesaling, and I've been doing that for about a year at this point. Wholesaling to me was really just a means to an end to acquire properties to add to my rental portfolio at a discount. And um, I kind of fell in love with wholesaling. It is a great business. It's a great way to make uh, good money and of course find awesome deals at an awesome price. So that is a little bit about me. I'm going to hand it over to Mike Slane. He's also one of our co-hosts. Hi guys, Mike Slane here. Uh, Another of the discount property investors. A little bit about me. Uh, I was uh, working uh, full-time back in 2009. So I did the traditional go to college, uh, get a good job, uh, all that jazz, and I was miserable. Uh, working 50 hours a week or so for somebody else uh, on a salary position wasn't really making me happy. Uh, like a lot of you out there, I read Rich Dad Poor Dad, and that was really the inspiration for me to get started in real estate. So I bought my first um, property, my first house ever was a four family house. So I was an on site manager, uh, lived in it, rented it out, and again, was just starting to get passive income. Uh, In a few years, I, and again, like David, I was buying uh, listed properties uh, on the MLS and putting them into my rental portfolio. In a few years, I basically got my passive income over my um, daily uh, expenses. And I said, forget about it, I'm I'm out of the rat race. So I went ahead and and quit the day job and jumped full-time into real estate investing. Uh, When I did that, I had done zero wholesale transactions. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I just I, I didn't know what to do, so I was reading and learning as much as I could, and figured out this whole wholesaling thing. Took me a little while, but then uh, started wholesaling and been doing that full time ever since. So it's been uh, been a pretty wild ride, but uh, it's been fun. I like what I do, and and uh, <clears throat> yeah, hooking up with these guys has been a game changer for me in my business. We're I think we're all really excited about. Uh, how things are going and and now the ability to hopefully help you guys as well. So go ahead and hand it off here to uh, Bill Merritt. Thank you, Mike. Good to see you so excited this morning. (laughs) (laughs) So my name is Bill Merritt. I am uh, one of the uh, principals with uh, uh, Discount Property Investors. Um, My background briefly is more corporate based since I'm uh, the older elder statesman of the group. So I've uh, my background is in corporate America. So I've been a full-time real estate investor for just about three years. It's been a blast. So I figured out better to know the wholesalers than than to buy from. It's better to be one of the wholesalers and get those uh, grandma leads direct versus Mm -hmm. buying from the wholesalers. Although I have been over the years a pretty big customer of the ugly house guys and the other guys, <laughs> so they are going to be sorry to see me uh, <laughs> sorry to see me go. But anyway, I've been doing this three years full time. My background is about 25 years in corporate America, uh, primarily uh, out of college uh, as a marketing business degree. I get uh, got lucky, got into the software sales early. Didn't know anything about software, but back then you could uh, if you could chew gum and walk, you became a software guy out of college so uh, it was great for 20 years but with the golden handcuffs uh, they pay you a lot a lot of high stress a lot of high income a lot of uh, uh, travel a lot of fun but I've done a lot of startup companies to IPOs uh, to public companies etc 
So I worked for small and large companies. Finally hit burnout about 10 years ago. Uh, when you hit 50, Ray, yeah, he's right. got a similar story, but <laughs> when you hit 50, you kind of get burned out on the corporate rat race. You get the, the young, yuppie bosses, and it's a difficult to, uh, to, uh, to keep the pace and to keep the motivation when you're, uh, when you're really an entrepreneur at heart. So I've always been an entrepreneur. I always talked about doing my own business. Real estate was a great avenue for me. Uh, I've been doing investing passively and part-time for about 10 years. So I've done about 40 to 45 flips over the last 10 years, so roughly four a year. I'm better known to be Mr. Landlord Guy, not Mr. Landlord, the franchise, <laughs> but Mr. Landlord Guy in terms of, I, I really believe in a business plan for success and getting your passive income uh, over your expenses. So, and I do teach part of that with the local real estate uh, group here in St. Louis. So I'm now a full-time investor, and now I'm part of this group to help you guys with wholesaling. Uh, my passion is, is finding good deals and providing uh, advice, funding, and packaging of deals uh, for our customers, the rehabbers and the landlords here in St. Louis. I'm a member of the Southside Investment Club, which is uh, myself and Ray are, are uh, coaches and uh, mentors for the group. So it's a great way to help people and also help uh, our, build our client base. So the uh, local group here in St. Louis is called the Inner Circle. A guy by the name of Nick Bauer runs that, does a great job. So we provide a lot of unique uh, products and, and value to the local investors. So luckily now you guys nationally can get some of those tips and techniques for uh, your, your local markets. Sorry to go on so long, fellas, but looking forward to uh, helping be part of this uh, podcast and future podcasts, uh, more of the, uh, the planning side, a little bit more of the banking side of the business, but the, these three guys are experts in wholesale, so you're going to learn a lot. Yeah. Okay, thanks. My, my name is Ray Bartle. Um, I'm pretty much similar to what Mike and Bill. I, I went through, uh, you know, through high school into college, got a college degree, and always told, get a good job, go to corporate America. So I did that for about oh, 15 years. I worked in a technology field, and then the 90s came, and I became a, a what, what you call a dot com of the 90s. So I did startup companies, probably about six of them, uh, through about five or six years. Uh, after I left corporate America, I pretty much in corporate America you get burnt out. I always did real estate as a part-time gig. Uh, you know, I have a full-time corporate job, but always found a way to have enough time in the evenings or weekends to either go find a house, buy a house. Did a lot of new construction initially. But then about 15, 16 years ago, uh, I decided that I got tired of trying to go raise money uh, from venture capitalists and others uh, locally here to, to do another startup and really got tired of laying off my buddies, to be quite honest with you. So decided to go into real estate on a full-time basis. My initial part of, uh, and I think a lot of people might start, you start out as a rehabber where you find a house and like David, I, I, did, I bought a lot of MLS properties. I buy them, fix them, put them back on the market and uh, make a profit. It was uh, you know, a model I liked, but what happened was as I kept continuing to market for more and more properties, and I start getting off the MLS and trying to get direct to the actual sellers, I realized I can make more money by doing it that way. So I kept marketing, kept marketing. But then what eventually happened, I have two or three projects going at one time, and I didn't want to stop my marketing, so that's when I started wholesaling. Because I found out that I could go get something under contract, and I could sell it to one of my buddies who also wanted, was a rehabber, because he wasn't, maybe had as much marketing knowledge or, or had the time or ability to go find those properties. So I just get them under contract and I'd wholesale them to another rehabber and I kept my marketing going and going. When my crews were ready for another rehab project, I would I'd take the one I, that came up next, I'd go rehab it and then as they kept coming in, I'd keep sending them out to my investment database, which became quite huge <laughs> as, as the business went on. People realized they could get pretty good deals from Ray. And this wholesaling business is a business that you can start really cheap. And I know our, our whole um, strategy is to help others around the country learn how to wholesale in your local market so that you too can make some extra income. Maybe it's just money that you need some Christmas money since you know it's a few days before Christmas here. Uh, maybe you just need some extra money or maybe you're tired of your corporate life and want to make the transition that most of us have here. So stay tuned. It's going to be a, it's going to be a ride. I always say that you know, wholesaling sometimes is like working in the, you know, the wild, wild west sometimes. Wouldn't you agree, guys? <laughs> but it's exciting and fun. I'm really excited to be part of this group, and uh, we're looking forward to teaching you guys out there how to take advantage of, of what's happening in the real estate market today. I, I feel there's a tsunami happening, and next year is just going to get 
bigger and bigger and bigger. So it's good if you can learn in your own market how you can take advantage of the tsunami. I would suggest, you know, grab on, hold on. You're going to have a wild ride. Absolutely. <laughs> That's right. You agree? Right. That's Thanks, right. Guys. So as uh, David had mentioned, we are uh, the Discount Property Investor. Uh, it's kind of the, the name of the group that we put together. And the reason for that is um, you have to buy properties at a good price, at a discount to make money in real estate. So again, that's really our whole message is uh, be a discount mm -hmm. property investor. Mm -hmm. So throughout this podcast, we're gonna focus on initially, uh, well, a lot of things real estate related, but initially we're gonna focus on wholesaling. And what that is, is um, buying properties at a really good price so you can sell them at a good price to someone else. Uh, we're gonna go into that real deep in the next episode, what is wholesaling, so stay tuned check out episode number two, and we're gonna go ahead and close it up with a quote today. Dave, you wanna read the quote for us? Absolutely, absolutely. So the quote today is, you make your money when you buy, you get paid when you sell. Correct, that's very, very, very true. Very true, <laughs> All right, that anyway. is the business. Thanks for listening, guys, stay, we'll talk to you soon. Stay tuned. Take care, guys. Thanks for listening to the Discount Property Investor Podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, please like, share, and subscribe to help us reach a wider audience. We would also appreciate it if you left us a review on iTunes or Stitcher. Thanks in advance for your support. And remember, you make your money when you buy and get paid when you sell. Now let's go build some wealth.